Damn, I think I played that guy. That's what it is. <laughs> I hope it's like this during tournaments. I'll tell you, because this is tough. That is a good fish. Bam! Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. That's right, folks. We're out here pre-fishing for an event on my home lake coming up here in the near future. Me and Marcus are out there in the evening just kind of checking things out, seeing where these fish are at. Now, we are definitely still pre-spawn, but I'm telling you, we're at a point where they're just about to move up. So we've got some males up on the shoreline. And at this point of the year, you can really find these fish just about anywhere. So you get to pick your poison, try to find out where the big fish are. And that's what we're doing today. So thanks for joining me. I Appreciate it. Please subscribe. Sit back, relax. We're going to have some fun on Lake of Egypt. So me and Marcus just got out here. We're trying to figure them out. Probably should have brought the minnows, but we haven't fished with minnows in such a long time that we're gonna do it with plastics again. I'm using the slasher head, a 130 second ounce head. I'm, I'm downsizing actually, kind of taking a big T's advice. Uh, they're, they're being very finicky right now. We're late in the day. Um, so I'm downsizing and see what happens. Hopefully that'll trigger a bite. So it's a nice, warm evening i think it's roughly around 65 degrees this is probably one of the warmest days we've had so far so these fish are moving in exciting stuff Tournament style fish right there. <laughs> it's a good day. Tough fishing. Still getting some decent sized fish in there. That's a good fish. So we start the big tournament year off here in the next couple weeks, which is really exciting. Good time. Spring is in the air for sure. Kind of a tricky period of the year where the fish are kind of moving in, moving out, uh, doing a little bit of everything. We really don't have a lot of, I think we have fit. We definitely have fish up on the shoreline and in the weed beds and all that stuff and the weed edge, um, but not a lot. So right now I still think it's worth looking for schools and looking for, if you want to catch a lot of fish, we're looking for those, uh, the big fish. Easy. I'm probably overall not a fan of the spawn just because they're so sporadic. I love brush pile fishing. It's my favorite. They're predictable. But who doesn't like this spot? There he is. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Make sure you guys are going to get this. Oh, that's a big fish because it's a bass again. That's a good bass. There it is, folks. Ozark rod bringing in the bass. Second of the day. Right there. I don't know what that does for you, but it makes me want to go find crappie. Using the Pro Series Ozark rod, 10 footer, gray. 
Top of the line, a little six pound. High vis line. Good day. Please subscribe. Don't forget to share this with your friends. We're in the best part of the crappie fishing season, everybody says. If you wouldn't mind, comment below and tell me what kind of what kind of gear you'd like to see me uh, put three pound fishing on for the summer season. I haven't got anything for summer other than hats. Market, you got a you got a vote on that? Oh, a face mask? Yeah. Marcus is saying face mask. I, I turn you off for one second and I get the football of the day. That's the good fish of the day. Probably 13 and a half, full of eggs. Beautiful fish. Let them go again. So definitely a good thing to do during this transition period is start on a point and start casting up against the shoreline, especially if you don't have live scope, and just start working your way out. At some point along this point, you're going to find fish, and that kind of probably will be the secret of the day of where you're going to find them for the rest of the day. So I always am looking in at casting, going up shallow, and then eventually finding our ways out to these schools. Follow that, man. That is awesome. Find big schools, big fish schools, you stay with them as long as you possibly can. That's good fish. Oh, yeah. You missed that one, but hey, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. We got a couple more catches going on, but uh, beautiful night. Check this out, folks. Oh, get much prettier than that. Let Marcus catch a couple fish now. Let me demonstrate the back live scope. So we've got the uh, fishing specialty mount here. You've got your 1042, so you got your own setup when you're back here on a guide trip or whatever. Uh, I actually can see your monitor up there as well. That's right, folks. You can still book guide trips. I'll tell you what, spring, let's just target April and May and June. These are great months to be out on the water. I'm telling you right now, it's a mixture of brush pile fishing and being up there on the shore. It is a great time to get out there. Three pound fishing at gmail.com. Get a hold of me. Double, double small fish. I love it. I haven't had a bite in a while. That felt like a monster. Found the small school. Comment below if you think Marcus should guide. He has a John boat. He has a John boat. Now it's a small boat, but it, he'd be, he was going to be calling it poor man's crappie fishing, but he will have live scope. Would you go? Would you sign up? Just put some fish in the boat. These fish are in transition back and forth, back and forth. All right, so thanks for joining me. Please do me a favor and subscribe. Yeah. Thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.